hello everyone and uh, welcome to another video in today's video uh, we will discuss about how we can create some abstract chrome shapes in blender and uh, how we can take the help of an open source vector design software that is inkscape to create such incredible chrome shapes so without further delay let's get into it now first of all download the inkscape software from the link in description and uh, after completing the installation process open inkscape on your computer and uh, the user interface of inkscape will look similar to what it is shown here so first of all uh, we will grab the pen tool and uh, make sure that the mode is set to spiral path and uh, select the spiral path mode and uh, try drawing some abstract shapes After you have made something, go to File, Select Export and export the SVG file to a desired location on your computer. Now after that, open Blender on your computer and import that SVG file into the viewport. Then we will get rid of the light source and the default cube. Select the SVG file and delete the previous SVG material. Now press 1 on your keyboard for the front view. Press R, X and 90 degree to rotate the path or the SVG file 90 degrees in X axis. Now go to object data properties and uh, increase the resolution value of the SVG file to all the way 64. Under geometry, add a little bit depth to the SVG file and reduce the resolution to 0. Make sure that uh, they are not overlapping each other and after you are done, convert that curve to a mesh object. Though the curve is converted to a mesh object, but as you can see in the wireframe mode that uh, the mesh is actually not looking good. So we need to fix that. For fixing the mesh, add a remesh modifier and uh, add this pixel amount unless and until the overall geometry of the shape starts looking good. Click on smooth shade and uh, apply the modifier. Now switch from object mode to sculpt mode. Select smooth and uh, adjust the radius and make sure that uh, the Z axis in the mesh symmetry is selected. And after that, try smoothing out the edges of the mesh. Now select the inflate tool to add a little bit depth to the scene. After you are done, come again to object mode. Now add a mirror modifier and uh, select X and Y axis. Switch over to rendered view to get a preview of the scene. Then in EV render engine, select a few important settings and in color management, change the look to very high contrast. Uh, and in world properties, select environment texture and uh, add an HDRI of your choice. Again head over to render properties and uh, under film, select transparent background. Now select the chrome shape, go to material properties and press new to add a new material. Increase the metallic value to 1 and reduce the roughness to somewhere around 0.1. Keep making the adjustment unless you are satisfied with the final result. Now select the camera and press Ctrl, Alt and 0 to align the camera to the view. Adjust the focal length of the camera in such a way that uh, the scene fits inside the view of the camera. Now go to the render button and uh, render out the image. After the image is rendered, save it on your computer. Thank you so much to everyone for watching the video. If you found the video useful, do drop a like and uh, don't forget to add your valuable comment. Hope to see you all in the next video. Till then, stay tuned and keep learning.